This is around 10 pounds. I'm getting a slight bicep curl here. You see this? All right, what's up, guys? So we're doing a little something different today. We got Trap Bistro in the house, Kevin here. So we're in OC right now. I know you guys have been used to my LA food vlogs, but yeah, guys, we're back in OC. We got Kevin here, and he's taking me to get DUI fries for the first time. If you guys don't know what that is, stay tuned. We're out right outside of Hercules, this Greek diner, and I'm about to try some DUI fries for the first time. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hercules, what can I get for you? All uh, right, can I get two large Hercules fries, please? All right, so that menu looks overloaded. It looks crazy, and that's what Kevin was telling me. They got a bunch of stuff here. Supposedly, it's a local favorite, and we're not too far from the LA food vlog because there's actually a Hercules in LA, so if you guys are wanting some DUI fries after this video, there's also some in LA for my Angelinos out there. All right, guys, so we're back at the crib. Kevin recommended me a DUI fries, the Hercules fries. Never had it before, so Let's see what it is. You ready? You guys are finding out just like I am. Oh my god. You ever see something like that before? Wow, look at that. Um, Look at that steam. I can feel the heat resonating out off this plate. It's fresh. Guys, bruh, guys, oh my gosh. Look at the steam, you see that? Where do you guys see the steam? Fresh. Super fresh. I've never seen anything like this. This feels like five pounds in my hand or more, like seven pounds. This is heavy. That's fire right there. Bro, this is literally fire. I can't make this up. This is like... Fresh. You can see the steam coming off of that. This is around 10 pounds. I'm getting a slight bicep curl here. You see this? They really hook it up. They do. My tip for you guys, if you guys want it fresh, and you pulling up in that drive through window, just give a little wink at the waitress, give a little wink at the cashier, and she'll tell the cook to make you want fresh. So this is my first time having this, guys. If you guys know me, you guys know that I'm a big fan of carne asada fries, but... Honestly, this doesn't even compare. This is way bigger than carne soda fries. Let's see what we got. So it looks here. Well, I'm gonna say it and then Kevin's gonna correct me, but it looks like we got some steak right here. I don't know if it's carne soda, but some beef. It looks like we got some jalapenos, fresh tomatoes, onions. We got some really thick fries right here. And we got some, we got some pastrami and cheese. Cheese lathered all over. Am I missing anything? Not just cheese, chili cheese. So you got chili, chili cheese, cheese oh, wow. fries, topped with the salsa, mm -hmm. carne asada, and the pastrami. And the jalapenos. So, you know what? Let's, without further ado, let's set it into this, guys. This looks like, this looks amazing. Hold that I'm gonna get So I'm gonna split this for Kevin. He got the Asian plate, because I don't think we're gonna be able to finish this. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm a heavy eater, but there's no way you can finish this alone. And the prices weren't too bad. I think each one of these are like 10 bucks. Yep. That's I think right. that's cheaper than carne asada fries. But missing from carne asada fries, we don't see any guacamole or sour cream. Nah. So yeah, uh, I reckon this should be a different taste. It is definitely a different taste, but all right, it hits the spot. But look guys, I'm about to mix it all up. Look at the steam. It's still fresh. As you can see, it's nice and steaming. Mix it all up. All right, guys. Let's dig Cheers. In. All right. Cheers, guys. Mm. Oh my God. It's just so meaty. I mean, you got layers of Pause. meat. <laughs> <laughs> you just got pastrami. Mm -hmm. And when you're biting that pastrami, that carne asada just bursts in your mouth. And then you got the subtle, subtle notes of chili cheese. Oh my God, dancing guys. Dancing on your tongue. Rock, bro. Pastrami in the front, chili cheese in the back. That's how it attacks your tongue. You feel me? Guys, this is an experience right here. I can't even explain it. You ever heard of meat lover's pizza? These are like meat lover's fries. You got all these different types of meat. I mean, how do you just, how do you top that, you know? So it's a totally different taste. From a carne asada fries it's the same concept like loaded fries but like kevin said the taste is so much different it's like chili cheese fries so if you guys are a fan of chili cheese the cheese is a lot different they're not like it's not like queso cheese it's american cheese and there's definitely like a like some chili in it and there's definitely some some meat from that chili too and i haven't even got started with the steak yet it's just an explosion of fat flavor and meat yeah, you ever had chili cheese fries and you thought to yourself, like, damn, 
I wish this had more meat. This is what you need right here. Oh my god. Because it's just tons of carne asada steak, tons of pastrami up in there. Alright, now I'm gonna try the, the beef right here. Mm -hmm. It's some type of steak. It's less marinated than carne asada. You can really taste the grill to it. Mm -hmm. It's like carne asada meat with a different flavor. So, this place yeah. called Hercules Burgers, and I was telling Dan because he didn't know. There's a lot of mom and pop Greek diners that sell. If, if a place can sell pastrami, Mexican food, burgers, chili cheese, and breakfast, you know it's probably owned by some Greeks. So shout out to all my Greek people out there. Shout out uh, Hercules Burgers. Shout out Tom Number One. That's the best spot right there in the Inland Empire and LA. But uh, right now we have Hercules Burgers in the OC. And we're getting it. Guys, this is so savory and mouthwatering that this is turning more into a mukbang. Then a food review, because I can't stop eating this. We're actually doing an outdoor bang, so. Yep. Yeah, guys, there's so much cheese lathered onto these fries that you can't even taste the fries anymore. You just taste all the cheese and the mushiness of the fries, but I'm not even complaining. It's still fire. Second serving. You see that cheese pull right there? Ooh, wee. Nice American cheese melting. Look at that, guys. I want you to see that cheese pull, bruh. Bruh, I mean, there's no, there's nothing else I could say. It's bruh. It's July, summer in California right now, so it's not that cold outside. And you can see the steam still coming out of this as we're eating, and we picked this up almost 30 minutes ago. So that's a, a big difference I noticed from this from other carne asada fries. I think there's less fresh vegetables and other ingredients like guacamole, sour cream. Everything in here is cooked, like the chili and the cheese. So everything is melted, like Kevin said. And it's just an explosion of meaty flavor. So these are Hercules fries. They're obviously overloaded. Why are these called DUI fries? Uh, what do you... Like, why are these called DUI fries? It's called DUI fries. I'm gonna take a guess. I don't know, bro. I'm gonna take a guess. So, you know, when you're drunk and you have the drunk cheese, you wanna pull over some carne asada fries, something to kind of like wake you up. I think that's why they call these DUI fries, because this is like a slap in your face. Yeah. This is like, if I'm drunk right now, this would hit 20 times harder, even though it already gets crazy. That's true. That's a good point. Never thought about it that way, man. But yeah, I guess it's a kind of drunchy type food, you know? Food that when you're drunk, you don't care about the calories. Or maybe the cook was drunk when he came up with this thing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Also, I can't get over the value of this plate right here. There's so much meat. Pause. There's so much <laughs> meat. There's just still so much meat, and I already, I already ate a lot of this already. And it was only like 10 bucks. It was only 10 bucks. That's why I'm taking Dan to all the hood spots. Well, not all the hood spots, the OC hot hood spots. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna wash it down with a nice, keeping up with the hood theme, nice generic soda right here. What do we got, Dan? We got some Dr. K. <laughs> you seen that? Not Dr. Ever Pepper. Seen Dr. K before? Okay. I actually usually don't drink soda, but you know, once I saw this, it was game over. You gotta get something carbonated to wash it down, you know? That's right. So yeah guys, we're at the finishing rounds. Guys, me and Kevin can eat and this knocked us out guys. So that yeah. that's saying something. We split this. I was doing, you know, one arm curls with these. And I, I could have got a solid rep in just curling this tray around. So they don't play with the servings. Also this pastrami is, is not bad. I thought it would be like generic. trash, like generic pastrami, but the pastrami is pretty juicy. It's not overfilled with fat, it's actually it's actually a um, decent piece of meat. You ever had the hat? Mm -mm. You gotta go there, man. But you, I, I'm not saying it's bomber than this. I'm saying you gotta go there to let the people know. If you're gonna get pastrami at a dedicated pastrami spot, or this spot, which is better? Because you can't, you cannot just assume that it's gonna be more fire than this. Okay, this is a bomb pastrami right here. Mm -hmm. I'm so full. So that was my first time trying the Hercules local favorite DUI fries that Kevin's been raving about for so long and I'm really glad that I was able to try these fries it's kind of like a guilty pleasure I kind of wish I hadn't discovered this because I'm definitely gonna come back 
But yeah, guys. I ate a lot of carne asada fries. It's the first time I had DUI fries. And they're fire. Got anything else to say? Could have said it better myself. Now, Dan said it all already. Glad he liked the hood local favorite right there. And you guys already know, Kevin. If you guys want to have some cooking videos, recipes, trap beast store right here. Link down below. Yeah, you guys know already know me from the burpee video with mm -hmm. my boy Dan right here. So, yeah. and I cracked his neck too. Yeah. If so you guys want to see more like this video, comment some other you know crazy dishes we should try, and subscribe for more food vlogs. And if you need your neck cracked on the low, hit holla at your boy. Deuces. Oh, my bad. <laughs>